In this video, I'm going to show you how to count words in Google Sheets. So there is not a built-in feature for counting words in Google Sheets, but there's a few ways that we can do this by using formulas, or we can also copy and paste into Google Docs and use their word counter to count words. So I'm gonna show a few different ways to do this depending on what you are trying to count. So the first way I'm going to show is just counting the words in a single cell. So to do that, what we're going to do is use a combination of the count A and split functions. This is the basic syntax of how you will be combining them. So you have your split and it's set up to split the cell reference that has the words that you want to count and it's splitting the spaces. So what split does is it will split this cell reference by the spaces and then count A uh, will count each unique value. So that is basically how we're going to count words. So to do it, again, it's just split and then my cell reference and then comma and then in the split I have a space. So this will make it so it counts each word separately that's separated by a space and then that is wrapped in the count A which will return the count. So you can see this one is one word and it results in one. This is two words, results in two. Three words, results in three. Seven words, results in seven. So that's counting the words in a single cell. Now, there is one problem with this formula and that is that if you have a blank cell, it will also return a count of one. So let me just show you this by deleting this. You can see it stays as one. So I'll show you, it is updating, so two and then one, but then it also counts as one. So if it's a blank cell, it's returning a count. So that's not what we want. So what we can do is control for that issue by wrapping this in an if function. So let me just show you that on this next tab. So what we wanna do to control for the blank cell issue is what we'll do is first we will run an if on the cell that we're counting. So if the cell that we're counting is blank, then return a blank. If the cell that we're counting is not blank, then we run our count A, which will then count words. So I have that set up here. See, here's the original one counting this, and it is returning a one. And now I have the if one and it returns nothing. So if A3 is blank, return blank. If A3 has a value, then we run our count formula, which is why this is returning blank. So that's how you would control if you have blank cells that you are trying to count from. The next way I'm going to show you is how to count the words in an entire column. So it's going to be, again, similar to the very first formula, but there are some differences. So it's basically the same formula on the inside of it. So we have our count A and we have our split. The first difference is that our split, instead of doing it on the specific cell, the split is doing the entire range. And then the only other difference is this entire formula is wrapped in an array formula. And that will count the entire column. So the only drawback again with this method is that if there is a blank cell, it still is going to count a blank. Unfortunately, we can't wrap this one in an if um, the same way we were doing the other one because it's on a range and it does not work like that. So if you have blank cells in the range that you're trying to count, what may work best is just sorting your data and removing those before you run this array formula count formula on it. So that is um, how to count the words in an entire column. You can also use this to count multiple columns. You would just have to change this range here. Now the last way I'm going to show you is if you don't want to use formulas at all, it's relatively easy. If you're just trying to get a quick count in your spreadsheet, this is probably the method for you. So all you do is you open up a Google Doc and we're gonna use their word counter. So I'm going to copy the range that I wanna count words for 
copy you can also press ctrl C on your keyboard and then I'm gonna right click and I like to paste without formatting or again you can press ctrl shift V on your keyboard and now my words are here and I can just go to tools word count and that will also give me a count of the words so those are a few different ways for counting the words in your spreadsheet and Google Sheets. They all have their uses. If you're just trying to do a quick one-off word count though, sometimes just using Google Docs is the best method. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.